Hello and welcome to my video all about how to knit the box stitch, which is sometimes otherwise known as the double moss stitch. This texture basically has a raised checkerboard pattern and it's great for beginners because it only involves knit stitches and purl stitches. If you're familiar with the seed stitch, then this is basically a chunkier version of that. So where the raised areas of the seed stitch are one stitch wide and one stitch long, the raised areas of the box stitch are two stitches wide and two stitches long. Right, so to begin, you just need to cast on a multiple of four stitches plus two. I've cast on 14. I did this using the long tail cast on, but you can just use your favorite method. This is a four row pattern repeat and the resulting knitting will be symmetrical. For row one, you need to begin by knitting two stitches. Then you bring the working yarn between the needles to the front, like so, and purl two stitches. Then take the working yarn between the needles to the back again and knit two stitches. You then just need to repeat, purl two, knit two, over and over until the end of the row. So that's purl two, knit two and so on. Always remember that the working yarn needs to be at the back for a knit stitch and at the front towards you for a purl stitch. Then for row two, you need to begin by purling two stitches. So make sure the working yarn is at the front towards you and purl two. Then take the working yarn between the needles to the back and knit two stitches. Bring the working yarn between the needles to the front again and purl two stitches. Then just repeat, knit two, purl two over and over until the end of the row. Then row three is exactly the same as row two. So that's purl two, knit two, and purl two. And then just repeat, knit two, purl two until the end of the row. And finally, row four is the same as row one. So that's knit two, purl two, and knit two. Then repeat purl two, knit two until the end of the row. So basically on rows two and four, you're knitting the knits and purling the purls. And on rows one and three, you're knitting the purls and purling the knits. And that's it, that's the four row pattern repeat. All you need to do now is just keep knitting these four rows over and over as many times as you wish. And this should be the result. As you can see, it's a nicely textured pattern and it's also reversible and it lies flat. It doesn't curl up at the edges. And for comparison purposes, here you can see the box stitch in a lighter weight yarn. As I've mentioned, the pattern that I've shown you so far is for the symmetrical box stitch. However, if you want to knit unsymmetrical box stitch or you want to knit box stitch in the round, then this is the pattern you would need to follow instead. I really hope this has been useful for you and thank you very much for watching. 